Elaine gets chastised by Judge Penny for national TV insult. And that's because she was demonized here. A number of things were allowed in this court that should not have been allowed. And it caused the jury to be confused. If there was one thing that people learned from the defamation case Johnny Depp filed against his ex-wife, Amber Heard, it was that the truth always prevails. A trial just proved multiple times that Amber was in the habit of lying to get her way. It was possible that she thought she could win the trial by lying against Again, but she was all wrong. Amber's legal team, particularly Elaine Bredehoft, had a hard time convincing everyone in court that she was innocent of all the accusations Johnny filed against her. Elaine had even gone beyond the limits just to protect her client, even to the point of disrespecting Judge Penny as Carte. However, Judge Penny was in no mood for any disruptions or nonsense in her courtroom. So what did Elaine exactly do to get on the nerves of the judge? Was she trying to win over the judge? Everyone was happy that the case between Johnny and Amber was finally over. Judge Penny was sure glad that this trial had ended because it had been such a roller coaster ride. The case was in the limelight for several months and the judge herself wanted to be out of all the drama and intrigue about the case. However, just before the end of the trial, Elaine and Judge Penny might have some disagreements. During the whole duration of the trial, Amber's team was trying to win over the judge and the jury. It looked like they were winning because of Johnny's previous alleged domestic violence case, but it took an unexpected turn. In a snap, the world turned against Amber because of her constant lies. People could see right through her that she lacked integrity. It was hard for her to tell the truth. When Amber fell into her web of lies, she took with her the whole legal team. They possibly regretted taking the case. They might have known already that they were losing halfway through the trial. Everything in the trial was not in their favor, but this should never be the reason to exhibit unprofessionalism in court. There were several occasions when Judge Penny reprimanded them for their behavior. In a court of law, everyone is expected to tell the truth. Judge Penny upheld this principle strictly and she wouldn't allow anyone to just bout lie after lie, including the lawyers. Elaine was caught lying when she presented to the court the makeup kit Amber was using to cover the bruises and marks on her face. This is what Amber carried in her purse for the entire relationship with Johnny. This what Amber carried in her purse for the entire relationship with Johnny Depp. She's an actor. Do you honestly think she would have left her apartment ever without makeup? Do you think that she ever would have wanted other people to see her bruises and her cuts? This was what she used. However, the makeup company Milani Cosmetics was quick to deny Elaine's statement. The company posted a video on TikTok stating that the makeup kit Elaine showed was released in 2017. Johnny and Amber divorced in 2016. In its official statement, the company wrote, Milani Cosmetics can confirm that the palette in question, the Milani Cosmetics Conceal plus Perfect All-in-One Correcting Kit, did not launch until December 2017. Our video was to verify the claim that our eagle-eyed and loyal fan base made about the product named The Trial. Milani Cosmetics is not taking a formal stance on the trial, evidence, or future outcome of the case. Now, instead of winning the public sympathy, Elaine has only provoked the court because of this mistake. All she and her team had to do was research this brand and confirm if this was the one Amber was really using. Perhaps for Elaine, all makeup kits looked the same, but the court would not side with her over technicalities. If she had done her research, there was a big chance that people would feel sorry for Amber. But all she did was fuel Amber's lies. Since then, Judge Penny, the jury, and the people who were closely monitoring the trial have been looking for signs or any indications that Amber and her team were lying. Elaine was also criticized for not doing a good job during the witness statements. She kept objecting to their statements, annoying them, and painting them as someone taking advantage of the most publicized case. In one instance, Elaine accused a former TMZ employee, Morgan Tremaine, of testifying in favor of Johnny for fame. Okay, you know this, you know this case is being televised, right? I, I am aware that there are cameras. And so this gets you your 15 minutes of fame, doesn't Objection, it? Your Honor, argumentative. I, I can ask that question. Oh, world. Um, so I stand to gain nothing from this. I'm actually putting myself kind of in the target of TMZ, a very litigious uh, organization, and I'm not seeking any 15 minutes here. Though you may, you're welcome to speculate. I could say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. Elaine was doing everything in her power to make everyone who testified against Amber look bad. 
It looked like Elaine was pushing the wrong buttons to annoy the judge and the witnesses. Was she doing this on purpose to disorient the witnesses? Judge Penny clearly did not want any of these. There were fans who were saying that Elaine was doing this intentionally to make Amber lose the case. She knew Amber didn't have the financial resources to pay her, so it would be better to speed up a trial by presenting unsupported claims. She must have been fed up with all Amber's lies and wanted this to be over as soon as possible because clearly, they didn't stand a chance to win. Elaine is not a lousy lawyer. Obviously, she's a smart lawyer, but she had reached her breaking point and was exhausted from listening to all of Amber's lies and manipulations. Any lawyer who will represent Amber will find it difficult to win her case. We may understand where Elaine was coming from, but as a lawyer, she should have known better than to disrespect a judge on TV. It was a long trial and everyone must have been so relieved that it was over. However, when Judge Penny called both teams for the last meeting, Elaine was being a little snarky. She was making unreasonable requests to the judge. All throughout the trial, Judge Penny had always been so calm and patient with Elaine and her team. There were times when Elaine was being rude and Judge Penny would just give her a break. Before this last meeting in the trial, she called out Elaine's behavior. They were discussing some formalities about the trial, but Elaine wanted to extend the case. She demanded a briefing schedule from the judge and asked that they also talk about the $8.35 million bond Amber had to pay to Johnny before she could make an appeal. Elaine personally knew that this was impossible, but she still pushed it, and Judge Penny was not pleased about it. A news correspondent confirmed that Elaine Bredehoff made it sound like she might want some type of hearing, and the judge, uh, Judge Ascarati, uh, was very no-nonsense as usual, actually more no-nonsense than usual, Jesse. Uh, and she basically said, uh, I don't need a hearing on any of this stuff. I've had this case for 18 months and we had a six week trial. So uh, she said, if you have a motion, file the motion. The judge really had no time for any um, whatever was going on in that courtroom. I don't know how to quite explain it. She was very to the point, very direct. Uh, she basically, you can tell, she is done with this case. Another correspondent shared a snippet between the judge and Elaine, and it looked like Judge Penny was exasperated. They posted a quote from Judge Penny saying, I am the chief judge of the court, and that's how it goes. We all know that Elaine was desperately trying to win the case, but she didn't have to insult or disrespect the judge, the jury, or the witnesses. People commented the judge for being so professional throughout the trial, even if Elaine had crossed the line multiple times. She knew the process, but she still chose to have her way and asked for things that could delay the trial. To make matters worse, Elaine did not just insult some witnesses or get into an argument with a judge. She was also telling everyone that the trial was decided based on bias and unfair treatment. In her recent interview after the trial, she tried to explain her loss as the result of an incompetent and biased judge and jury. She claimed that all of them were in favor of Johnny from the start. She also said that the jury panel had been persuaded to side with Johnny because of the pressure and stress they got from social media. People who were chosen to serve in the jury are not permitted to read or listen to any news about the case in which they were involved. But according to Elaine, all the jurors went home and interacted with family and friends, so there was a big possibility that they might have talked about the case. Unlike any celebrity case certainly I've ever covered or ever seen, social media was a part of this. And it was incredibly lopsided and vitriolic against Amber Heard. Do what? you think that had an effect on the case? Absolutely. You think jurors were aware of it? You they know, weren't supposed to be. They're they admonished every single day. Don't look at it. Do you think they did see it? How can you not? They went home every night. They have families. The families are on social media. We had a 10-day break in the middle because of the judicial conference. There's no way they couldn't have been influenced by it. And it was horrible. It, it really, really was lopsided. Her words did not sit well with anyone, especially the judge and jurors. The moment she criticized the trial, she was already insulting all the people behind the legal system. Elaine might have realized her statement was harsh because she canceled a few interviews after that. She didn't give any reason and she basically just stepped away from the limelight. Everyone felt bad for Judge Penny because she was nothing but gracious and professional all throughout the trial, even Amber's legal team. It was obvious that Elaine received tons of criticism and hate after that. It was her colleagues she was insulting, and it looked like she had no trust in the law and the legal proceedings in the country. She might have not agreed with the decision of the jury, but she needed to respect it. Instead of helping Amber plan out her next move, Elaine was just showing everyone that she was a sore loser. This stunt she pulled towards Judge Penny and the jurors could somehow have an impact on her career. Now that Amber is planning to make an appeal, will Elaine still be a part of her legal team? Would any judge want to have Elaine in their courtroom knowing full well that she has a history of disrespecting her colleagues? We'll find out soon. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Are you not entertained? If you are, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.